<laughs> All right, ma'am, it's bedtime. You have school in the morning. Oh, man, could I stay up a little bit longer, please? No, you cannot, my dear. You'll be extremely tired in the morning, and no one wants to hear, Oh, Mom, I'm tired. Can I stay home from school today, please? Fine. Night-night, Mama. Night-night, Coco. What is that? What? What's what? That. Did you even use the bathroom before going to bed? Yes, I did about eight hours ago. <sighs> that is not using it before you go to bed. Now, you know you're not to have anything to drink two hours before you go to sleep, right? Yes, but I was just really toasty. I understand that, but you know what happens when you drink anything right before bed. Mama! Mama! What? Coco? I peed. Okay. In the bed. Seriously, why do you keep doing this? You're eight. I, I, I had one of them dreams that I peed on the toilet. So yeah, I peed in bed. Coco, take your butt in that room, take them clothes off, and change them drawers. Dang. You don't got no empathy for none of your kids. Coco! You said you just peed, but you didn't boo-boo too? Mama, that was the past. I'm a big girl now. Yes, and big girls make mistakes too. I can guarantee since we started this conversation up until this very moment, you have to use the bathroom right about now. Uh, I mean, not really. I, I could hold it out until the morning. Coco, go. I was hoping you said that. Thank God for mamas. Mama, you're like a superhero or something. It's like you know things before I even know them. Ooh, well, excuse me, I gotta go. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Gotta do that, 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 Today was a rough day. 
Kalaya keeps lying on me. My teacher, Ms. Biggledaddle, doesn't believe me most of the time, but Kalaya's name speaks for itself. Kalaya. Ugh. It's just been tough, but I'm keeping my head up and hoping she's not in class with me next year. Hey, Huckle Beans. Everything okay? You've been so quiet. Yes, I'm fine. I'm just breathing and stuff. So, I take it you're not fine and you need to talk to someone. No, I'm, I'm fine, really. Well, okay then. Wait, uh, actually, since you asked, I guess we can talk. Okay, go for it. Mm -hmm. y your wig looks really good today. Not too much sheen works better for you. Oh, girl, get to the point. Oh, uh, the, the way that it's laid distracted me. But anyway, Mama, I'm thinking about dropping out of school and I really appreciate your support. You what? And that is not an option. You need school to help you become a better you. Yes, I know. And I really like school. But Kalaya's taking it too far. And Miss Bibble Daddle, all she says is, Coco, stop. Coco, go to the office. Coco, do this. Coco, do that. What is Kalaya doing? Lying. She's a liar. Okay, let's not use those words. But... It's the right word to describe her. It's like she just sits there and then she comes up with these stories. Mama, she's the definition of a liar. Okay, calm down and tell me what happened. So, on the first day of school, I walk in and said, Hi, everybody, I'm here. I was a little late because you dropped me off a little late, so I just rubbed the class just a little bit, but then nobody said anything. So then I said again, Coco's here. Nobody said anything, so I went to the first empty desk that I saw. When I sat down, here comes Kalaya. She comes to me and she says, hey, that's my seat, kid. I said, well, nobody was sitting here. She says, well, that's my seat. And I just look at her and say, well, nobody was sitting here. So then she picks up my books and she slams them on the desk. And I said, okay. And I guess she thought I was going to move, but I didn't. So then she picks up my books again and slams them on the floor. Then all of a sudden, Miss Biggledaddle, for some reason she didn't hear all the rest of the story, she lifts her head up and she says, Coco! I said, yeah, Miss Biggledaddle. She says, what was that? Go to the office. So then I had to go to the office. I run to the office. I try to use the bathroom. It took me five minutes. Then I get to the office, get to the principal. The principal says, Coco! She said, what took you so long and what is this that Miss Biggle Daddle saying? I told her the story to show her I didn't do anything and now they're gonna call you to come in to make me look crazy. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. Well, I'm happy you told me the story ahead of time. Me too, I feel a lot better now. I guess I don't have to drop out of school after all. But can I take a personal day and not go to school tomorrow? Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Top down and drop down. Rap down, chop. Top. Coco. Top, 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 top down. Top down. Coco. With a top down and top down. Hey, you need to top down. Coco. Huh? Mama, can you please not scare me like that next time? A warning would be great. Well, I only hollered your name three times very loud. I didn't even hear you. Of course you didn't, Coco. Not with those things blasting loud in your ear like that. Mama, they sound so good. Here, try them out. Well, I don't like loud things in my ear, and you shouldn't either. It's not good for you. You can have problems with your hearing when you're older. It's not that they're loud. They're just clear. It feels like it's just you and the music. Try them, Mama. No, I'd rather not. Live a little, mama. Okay. Wow, Coco, these do sound amazing. Hey, top down, drop down. Round and round. Hit the town. Hit the ground. Top mama. is up. Hey, top is down. Mama. I'm sorry, Coco, what did you say? See, they sound good, right? Yes, they actually sound great. I actually love them so much. I think I'm going to get myself a pair. <laughs> Yay, mama. There will be Coco Bud twins. <laughs> okay, in the meantime, hurry up and get dressed for school before you're late. Okay, mama. Thanks. <laughs> See 
see you later. Okay, so I'm gonna go to school, but as soon as I get, well, not as soon as I get back, but because I have to do my homework, but right after that, it's just you and me. Coco is home from school. Check my book bag is downstairs. I'm gonna go listen to my Coco Buzz. Oh, really? Those, um, well, you know what? You don't, you don't have to rush. <laughs> okay. Why is Mama acting weird? Time to give my Coco Buzz. Coco Buzz. Mama! Well, um, my Coco Buzz. Haven't seen him. Coco doesn't believe her. Interesting. Meeting tonight in my room. We're all black. Um, okay. Only the truth will set you free. You may enter. Hey. Um, should I sit mm, here? Sit down. Okay. <laughs> now when I left today, my Coco Buds were sitting over there on the counter. But when I got back, guess what disappeared? What? My Coco Buds. Oh. Have you seen them? So, so this is what this meeting is about? Something you misplaced? <laughs> permission. Not only that, after you dropped me off at school, you came back home, right? I mean, yes, I, I live here. <laughs> but you don't live in my room, right? Respectfully. But you went over there on my nightstand, right? First of all, I can go in your room. But yes, I wasn't there because I was putting your clothes up. And you didn't touch my cocoa buds. Cocoa. <laughs> Do you forgive me? Yes, I do. But mama, you have to get your own, okay? Okay, deal. Okay, you just missed. Oh. Come on, Rover. Okay. Oh, oh, and don't forget to bring my Coco Buzz bag fully charged, indicated, and sanitized. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Where are my keys? Um, Coco, call your Aunt Berlin and tell her to please bring something to eat, okay? Okay. okay, up right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, She stopped trying to be the big sister and just leave me alone. Whew. But okay, Coco, baby. I'll talk to you later. Okay, talk to you later, TT. Um, Mama, I told her. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, shoot. Can you please call her back and tell her we have to be on time? And I promise not to be late this time also because we have to get good seats. Okay, okay. okay. All right, thank you. Welcome. Yes, Coco. Um, yeah, Auntie V, Mama said that it's not important if you guys are on time, uh, cause you always late, and she said to make sure get, get good beats. Wait, wait a minute, what? They say what now? Uh, that's what she said, TT, don't shoot the messenger. Look, the nerve of her, okay? Look, I'm always on time. It's your mother who always late. And while she worried about me bringing some beats, she needs to hurry up so we can get some good seats now. And don't call me again, I'm tired of this. Uh, she know how long it take to, to, to look this good? Huh? Tell me about some, uh, wash my feet. No, huh? Did she remember how I feel smell with kids? Okay, I'll tell her. Um, Mama TT said okay. She sounded a little upset, but I don't really know why. Oh, dang, really? I hope she's okay. I 
know she has a lot going on. Shoot, how could I forget one more thing? Let her know I need to stop and get some air and tell her my car is a mess. <laughs> okay, mama. What else, your mom, what else your mother got to say? Um, uh, last thing, TT. Mama said that she has to go get some hair. Some hair? Uh-huh, she said something about you looking a mess. What? Wait, wait, what? Uh, no, I've had enough. I'm not going. Your mama got a lot of nerve having you calling me to say all this. I can't believe her talking about this is just too much. Uh, okay. Uh, Raleigh, 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 what is wrong? Is everything okay? listen to this look, look no i am not okay i am not gonna put up with you talking to me like this what 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 are you talking about i haven't even talked to you you sent your child to talk to me and she telling me all this stuff what what stuff coco what did you say i just told her everything that you told me that she should wash her feet that you all don't have to be on time because she's always late that she should bring some beats and that she was gonna stop and get her some hair because she looked a mess Coco, were you even listening to anything yeah, I said? That's what you said. Berlene, I didn't say any of that whatsoever. I said to please bring something to eat. And I said I promised that I would be on time because I know I'm always late and we needed to get good seats. I also said that I need to stop and get some air and excuse my car because it was slightly a mess. I'm sorry, sis. I should have known that Coco. Oh. <laughs> That that's that's what I meant. <laughs> uh, well, Mama, you ladies go have you a good time. I love you. I love you, TT. Okay, bye. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no, no. What what stuff, Coco? What did you say? I just told her everything that you said that she should wash her feet, that she could bring some. <laughs> what is that? What what stuff? Coco, what did you say? I just told her everything that you told me that she should wash her feet, that you guys don't have to be on time because she's always late, that she had to bring some beats, and that, that, um, that, um. <laughs> beans i left you some goodies in the kitchen oh that's so sweet mama thank you uh, wait where you going oh well i'm just you know taking a self-care day self-care who's going to take care of me well miss Lindsay will be here shortly and i'm sure you all will have a great time miss Lindsay, no mama please no she always oh she always... she's what what is wrong with Miss Lindsay, Coco? It is always something with you. Uh, uh, I guess nothing actually, but that's besides the point. I won't go with you. No, this is my day to relax and I'll be back before you know it. Fine. Thank you for being so understanding. Anytime. So, how do I look? Tired. Tired? Yes, tired, like you haven't slept in about five or six days. Yep, um, you should go get some rest before you head out because your bags are back. But you're beautiful and you remember that. <laughs> now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no every time we... Yes, tired, like you worked a five shifts eight to grade... Go, go, go! Until you're 40. I'm going to sleep till I'm 50. Now, now, 
now, Coco. You know that's a no no. before I get comfortable? No, uh, it's okay, Mama. Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna watch some TV. Ooh, perfect timing, my show is on. Yes. Uh, yes, I'm good. Are you watching that? Because I really want to watch Kempster and Kenny United. Well, okay. Let me just put it on, I guess. Let me guess, she won my drink too. Coco, it'll be fun. This one specifically, my grandmother gave to me when I was a little girl, and I've been waiting to give it to you. I didn't mention no old people stuff. What was that? Oh, uh, not that I just said I can't wait to play this and stuff. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, enjoy. I'll be in my room. Okay, mom. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Let me know when you're done so I can check it out. Okie dokie. Guess what? I'm all done. <laughs> okay, I guess Mama was right. It was fun. But how am I going to keep it all together? <gasps> Glue, you're right. Okay. Let me flip it for Come on. What? Okay, here we go. Mama, I'm done. Oh, wow. Look at you. You finished fast. Let me see. You know what, Mama? I have 
have to admit, this was extremely fun. I can't wait to do more puzzles. Well, the good thing about puzzles is you can reuse them over and over again. Really? Wow, I wouldn't expect that. <laughs> what is that on the back of my grandmother's puzzle? What's what? Is that glue? Oh yeah, I put it in the back so that my whole walk wouldn't get destroyed. Coco, no, 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 that's not how it works. It's supposed to come apart so you can play with it again next time. Oh, so that's what you meant by that you can reuse them. Ugh. I, I guess the glue ruined it, huh? Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Oh. What in the world is this? talking today okay how you feeling J just sign it to me don't speak T take your time take your time oh good oh mama that is so good to he see you know mama you could have just told me about your situation i'm your daughter and i'm here for you uh, uh, uh. now mama just sign you don't have to speak I know with age, things begin to fall apart, and I'm here for you always, and you remember that. I know it's probably been difficult for you to tell me. <laughs> now, before I show you what I found, I just want you to know that I love you, and not for what you have going on in this area. Forget what the world says. You my mama. I never knew that you had dentures, Mama, and it's okay. I'm only concerned because they've turned clear and I think you may need a new pill. What? Girl, give me this. I have not lost my teeth. They're right here. This is from a program called Bite. They help me straighten my teeth. They're like braces without braces. Oh, so those aren't dentures? No, and I'm not old. I'm 34. Oh, well, it sounds pretty ancient to me. Well, I'm happy you still have your choppers. <laughs> now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Uh, how's the diet going, Mama? Oh, great. Um, my skin is glowing. I'm full of energy, and I know I can get through these next few days really strong. Good, you got this, champ. <laughs> that... That looks really nutritious. Oh, it is. It really is mind over matter. Well, that's really awesome, Mama. I'm really proud of you. Thank you, my Coco Buns. Oh, well, while you enjoy that, I'm gonna enjoy a dish. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. That's good. Mmm. Mmm. Can you pass me a napkin, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Here you go. Oh, thank you. You know, I don't want the sauce to get down my hands and on my face because, you know, um, it's that perfect saucy lasagna, you know. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Yep, I know. Enjoy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. You want a little bit, Mama? I'm so sorry. I forgot that you had to eat trees. Okay? Right, keep enjoying your plants, Holly. Yeah, 
Swim is jeans. <laughs> right, right. Oh, okay, okay, machine. Let me let me call you back. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna call you back in like an hour or so, okay? <laughs> all right, yeah, all right. Okay, okay, bye. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, uh, no reason. I'm sure there's a reason, ma'am. Start talking. Um, well, it's just that every time you talk to Miss Jean, you tell her that you're gonna call her back and you never call her back. That is not true. Did you remember that one time I called her back and, and um... Uh... Um, yeah, I know, Mom, that one time I remember. Well, it's only because Miss Jean talks a lot. I mean, constantly. I mean, she's a great lady, but she just never stops yapping. <sighs> Oh, um, I understand. Okay. Well, I'm going to call Miss Jean because Mama's not going to call her back anyway. Hi, Miss Jean. No, this isn't Ava. This is Coco. Yeah, well, I was calling because Mama's not going to call you back. We already know that. <coughs> yeah, I know, Miss Jean. Well, I had to talk with Mama, and she said the reason that she doesn't call you back is because you talk too much. Yeah. Apparently, you're a yapper. Mm -hmm. So, I was just being nice and calling to tell you maybe that's something you should work on. I'm just letting you know, so... Who are you talking to? Oh, hold on one second, Miss Jean. Oh, uh, I'm just talking to Miss Jean. I called her to let her know that she talks too much, like you said, and that if she wants to save your friendship, that she should work on that. No, you didn't. Give me, give me the phone. Hey, Miss Jean. Hey. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Coco was just playing. She didn't mean that. I was definitely gonna call you back. No, she wasn't. 